Magandang hapon Pilipinas! Ito po si Lisa Makuha, ang inyong balerina ng bayan na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood sa RHTV. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Patuloy pa rin tayo sa ating Women's Month Special at sa hapong ito kasama natin ang dalawang magandang dilag na pawang galing sa pamilya ng mga alagad ng sining. Alam nyo, malapit na akong maniwala na baka nga genetic ang pagiging isang artist dahil sa dami ng mga magagaling na second, third, and even fourth generation artists na naging panauhin natin dito sa Art to Art. Nasa dugo kaya ang pagiging artist o kasama na rin ang impluensya ng early exposure at ng home environment sa paghubog ng isang alagad ng sining? Palagay ko, all of the above. Pero syempre, ang pinakamahalagang sangkap dyan ay ang talent. And without a doubt, marami niyan ang ating dalawang bisita sa hapong ito. From the Repertory Philippines musical Jekyll and Hyde, Please welcome Chris Villonco and Kalila Aguilos. Si Ana Cristina Sigihon Reina Villonco ay isinilang noong ikalabing pito ng Oktubre 1983. Apo ng tanyag na mga awit, producer at dating MTRCB chief na si Armida Sigihon Reina. Dala na rin ng impluensya ng kanyang lola, nagsimulang lumaba sa musical theater si Chris noong siya ay siyam na taong gulang pa lamang. Kabilang siya sa stage production ng Le Meserab, Larawan, Five Women Wearing the Same Dress at Alikabok at lumabas sa pelikulang Ang Alamat kasama ni Fernando Poe Jr. Bukod pa rito, lumabas na rin siya bilang artista sa telebisyon at naging isang recording artist. Sandali siyang namaalam sa pagganap upang tutukan ng pag-aaral at noong 2006, nagtapos siya ng Bachelor of Arts sa larangan ng musika at ng economic development mula sa Sarah Lawrence College sa New York. Nagtrabaho siya sa Center for Human Humanitarian Dialogue Manila at sa Asia Society Philippines. Subalit na naig pa rin sa kanya ang tawag ng sining at muling bumalik sa tanghalan bilang miyembro ng Repertory Philippines. Samantala, si Kalila Aguilos naman ay anak ng stage actress na si Gigi Escalante at kapatid ng mga awit na si Between Escalante. Bukod sa pagiging isang mga awit at aktres, para sa tanghalan, telebisyon at pelikula, isa rin siyang mahusay na pintor at costume designer. Nagtapos siya ng fine arts mula sa UP Diliman kung saan una siyang lumabas sa musical play na Magnificat. Napukaw ang kanyang interes sa entablado at dinaglaon, naging bahagi siya ng tanghalang Pilipino kung saan napabilang ang No Limit Tanghere at El Filibusterismo. Bukod dito, lumabas din siya sa Zaza Saturnina, Three Penny Opera. Atang at Dragon Tales. Naging aktibo din siya bilang aktres sa pelikula at napabilang sa listahan ng Top 20 Independent Actors mula 2007 hanggang 2010. Lumampas din siya sa mga teleseryeng tulad ng Kay Tagal Kitang Hinintay, Sanay Wala Nang Wakas, Immortal at Lobo. Si Kalila, ang kasalukuyang pangulo ng The Philippine Theater Actors Guild o TAG, isang bagong organisasyon ng mga aktor sa entablado. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng Art to Art, kina Chris Villonco at Kalila Aguilos. Magandang hapon, Chris, and magandang hapon, Kalila. Welcome to Art to Art. Thank magandang you so hapon. much. Magandang hapon po sa lahat ng nanonood at nakikinig. Wow, Chris, uh, katulad ng nabanggit sa intro, mm-hmm. uh, pareho kayong galing sa pamilya ng mga alagad ng sining. Of course, you are the granddaughter mm-hmm. of Armida Sigyon Reyna and the niece of director Carlos Sigyon Reyna. At Kalila, ikaw naman ay anak ng stage actress na si Gigi Escalante. Yes. And kapatid ng mga awit na si Bituin Escalante. Wow. So t- sa tingin ba ninyo eh genetic nga ito? Um I would like to say so but it's also really the environment because mm-hmm. si my mom was singing every day and it was just a normal thing for us. In fact, I thought everybody in the world sang. Mm-hmm. That was really the norm for me. So mm-hmm. I think it was largely environmental. Mm-hmm. Pero yes, pwede rin genetic. <laughs> Oo, kasi I think, I mean, it's true. Kailangan mo nga rin ng kahit konting talent. Yes. Uh-huh. You know, it's so funny kasi yung pamilya ko, I come from a family of mga abogado, mm-hmm. mga taga-politiko, mm-hmm. at mga nasa teatro o nasa opera or in movies. Mm-hmm. no So, you have a range to choose from there. Yeah. And it's funny that others became a script, like, like my cousin and, and my sister, 
mga writers sila, mm-hmm. you know, and jewelry designers. Mm-hmm. And then I, I was the only one technically who went into performing arts, mm-hmm. while the others, you know, stayed in the background. So that's right. partly yeah. influential, oh, well, greatly influential. But then also, I guess there were just certain things that they realized I could do also that I'm, I'm, I'm happy I can do. But of course, you, you were both encouraged by oh, your yes. families yes. to go into yes. the arts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes. Um, like, hindi ka pinigilan. Hindi. In, no. in, in our family rin, we have lawyers. We have lawyers. Pero, mas gusto nilang arts eh. Merong dream yung lola kong Hollywood eh. So, mm-hmm. tinutulak niya kami. <laughs> Sige, mag, mag, punta kayo sa teatro, maging artista kayo. Gusto niya yung nanunu- naka, nakakapanood siya ng mga kamag-anak niya sa entablado. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Pero Chris, iniwan mo ang sining para magtapos ng pag-aaral. Opo. Okay, so at, how was that like? Kasi po at the time, mga 16 years old na po ako, mm-hmm. eh, technically po yung peak ng aking career mm-hmm. ay nung 12 years old po ako. Yes. Nung ko bakit nalik ko ba yun? 12 ka I consider that my peak. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Kasi that was the time na ako lang yan, I mean, yung child singing uh, prodigy mm-hmm. um, na, you know, I used to sing for all yung mga foundation work and for all these commercials. Mm-hmm. And then as I was going older, parang, And you know, I'm really, really manang. Hindi ako ma, hindi ko kaya ng maging daring or whatever at that time. <laughs> no, when I was 16, 17, yun yung mga Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, uh-huh. and there was this pressure na kailangan ganun din ako man hamit, ganun din ako kailangan ko manta. Eh, hindi ako ganun taga teatro ko. So, ibang iba yung pag... Okay. Well, you know, that's why ako is like, alam mo, saludo ko sa mga to those who are able to survive that whole, that awkward stage because I wasn't able to and I felt like I was lost. So, sabi ng mami ko, you know what, mag-abroad ka na lang, mag-aral ka, and I was very fortunate and lucky that I had that chance. Mm-hmm. So, umalis ako, pagbalik ko dito, mm-hmm. kala ko talaga maging politiko na ako. Mm-hmm. I did not want to perform. Oh. So, I worked in an you NGO. You worked in an NGO. I worked for two NGOs. Uh-huh. I gave it a year, mm-hmm. tapos, after that year, sabi ko, you know what, susubukan ko ulit, magta-teatro ako ulit. Mm-hmm. And, That's when it started. And then I just started doing theater all throughout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember na panood kita sa Hong Kong. Yes, na Disney pa ako. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because we, mm-hmm. as we, as you know, sa teatro mahirap then it's hard to make money. Yes. <laughs> so we have to find other ways. Yes. And Disney was also one of those ways to make money mm-hmm. and to perform. Mm-hmm. And yun nga, and I was able to meet so many people, all these dancers, singers mm-hmm. who come from here, mga taga, ang dami mga Cebuano na singers, mm-hmm. and it was a very, very good experience. It's naalala ko talaga, nasa audience kami, tapos nung lumabas na yung Tarzan, sabi ko, kilala ko yan ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes that kami nandun, taga ron, Rallion Alonso, Ana, uh-huh. Feji, me, That's right. dami namin That's doon. Right. And yeah. of course, congratulations, your most recent performance na napanood ko ay ang Sound of Music. Hi, maraming maraming salamat yeah. po, and still mm-hmm. showing. <laughs> In fact, um, sab- sinabi nga sa akin mm-hmm. ng director after the show na you were not feeling well that time na um, na nag- portray ka ng Maria yes. sa Sound of Music. Yes, it's so, very, ano, uh, as really people know, who know me, I'm not babaing, as bubbly as I am. <laughs> babaing pagod show. to eh. Palaging tumatakbo from one production to the next. Uh-huh. We don't know how she survives it, but she does. And you, oh, you don't? <laughs> Oo nga eh. So, double production ka ngayon. Oo, uh-huh. but you know, like many, I mean, I'm lucky I'm still doing yeah. theater, but many of the other theater actors, like Kalila and a lot of the others, mm-hmm. you know, teleserye, yeah, taping, puyat, survive, tapos yeah. teatro. Mm-hmm. May, may ganun Ako, eh. Ang hirap naman factor. ipang combine yes. yun. Pero Kalila, you started naman off as a visual artist. Yes, that's true. Um, I took up uh, fine arts in UP Diliman. That's what I graduated. Mm-hmm. Because I was painfully shy. Mm-hmm. I, I really could not imagine performing on stage. But I graduated young because I started, I, I finished school early. I was, okay, I'll do some exhibits. Mm-hmm. Pagkatapos nun, parang ang bata ko pa. Paano kaya mag-try ako ng ibang bagay? And I felt that pull mm-hmm. from theater. Mm-hmm. Nag-production work pa nga ako bago ko naging actress eh. Mm-hmm. Pero eto na, parang I forgot already my painting. And <laughs> now I'm doing theater full time. Uh-huh. And of course, now you are working together yes. Yes. in the new musical yeah, sound, of... Uh, sound of... Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde, by the way, congratulations Thank for the great much. opening night. Thank you so Thank much. You much. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's the, it's the 
Um, is it the first time in the Philippines? Yes, yes. it is. Jekyll and Hyde. Yes. Okay. Um, obviously, hindi ka you see si Jekyll at si Hyde. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So briefly, can you please tell us ano ang mga roles ninyo okay. Okay. Uh, in the musical? All right. I play Emma Karu, who is the fiance of Jekyll, mm -hmm. and the very understanding one who is willing to do anything. Hmm. For the love of her life. The sweet martyr. The sweet martyr. Yes. <laughs> and I play Lucy, uh -huh. who is actually uh, babaeng mababa ang lipad, uh -huh. um, who Jekyll meets uh, after a very frustrating evening with Emma's, the people around Emma. Okay. Uh, parang dun siya nagre release. So he, he meets me in a pub mm -hmm. where I'm performing and so I, I fall in love with him, but I also encounter his dark side more often. Mm -hmm. Si, ano, si Mr. Hyde. Mm -hmm. So I'm the character who he relates to in that sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yung equal niya on the dark side. Napanood ba ninyo ang uh, production sa, uh, original production on either Broadway or the West End? No. I have not. Only oh, okay. some snippets from videos. Mm -hmm. And we're, of course, we're very familiar with the songs because, siempre, our favorite OPM singers sing them a lot, such as This Is The Moment, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Forever <laughs> Nayon, uh -huh. Someone Like You, Once uh -huh. Upon a Dream. Mm -hmm. You know, the likes of Martin Yaver and Eric Santos have made that so popular. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that helps the show <laughs> <laughs> in terms of familiarity. Uh -huh. I'm sure um, pumapalak pa kang audience oh, pag nalilagunize na nila yung mm -hmm. kanta. <laughs> Okay, marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang dalawang leading ladies ng Jekyll and Hyde na sina Kalila Aguilos at Chris Villonco. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Team ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa Sayaw, iniahandog ng Ballet David Campos ng Barcelona, Spain, ang makabagong bersyon nila ng dalawang kilalang ballet production, The Sleeping Beauty at Giselle, mapapanood ang The Sleeping Beauty sa March 22 at March 23 alas 8 ng gabi at ang Giselle sa March 24 alas 8 ng gabi at March 25 alas 6 ng gabi sa Cultural Center of the Philippines, Ross Boulevard, Pasay City. Para sa mga katanungan ukol sa tiket, tumawag sa Ticket World at 891-9999. Sa Sining Biswal, bilang closing activity ng exhibit na One Day in the City. Pasay, iniahandog ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila ang lecture na graphic designer na si Edgar Granada ukol sa kasaysayan at sining ng Senaculo. Ito'y gaganapin sa March 24 mula alas 2 hanggang alas 4 ng hapon sa tall galleries ng MEP Museum na matatagpuan sa Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas Complex, Ross Boulevard, Manila. Ang Malibay Senaculo sa Pasay ay matagal ng itinatanghal tuwing kwaresma. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, tumawag sa 708-7829 o mag-email sa info at metmuseum.ph Kasalukuyan namang itinatanghal ni Ramon Diaz ang kanyang one-man exhibit sa Nova Gallery na matatagpuan sa Warehouse 12A La Fuerza Plaza Compound 2241 Don Chino Roses Avenue, Makati City. Tampok ang labing siyam na mga obra sa papel na naglalarawan sa tradisyonal na Japanese sport na sumo wrestling. Makikita ang exhibit hanggang April 6. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, tumawag sa 392-7797 o mag-email sa gallerynova at gmail.com. Iniahandog ng Abriza Mall sa Davao City at ng Ayala Museum ang traveling exhibition na pinamagatang Revolution Revisited, a photography exhibition by Kim Komenich. Ito'y makikita sa Naturang Mall hanggang March 25 bilang pagdiriwang sa ikadalawamputlimang anibersaryo ng People Power. Tampok ang mga piling larawan mula sa koleksyon ng higit sa dalawampung libong kuha ng American photojournalist noong EDSA Revolution. Inilunsad noong February 20 2011, ito na ang ikalabing dalawang pagtatanghal ng nasabing exhibit. Para sa karagdagang detalye, tumawag sa Ayala Museum 757-7117 hanggang 21 o sa Abriza Mall at area code 6382-321-9332.
Mark your calendar for an unforgettable gathering of three Filipina icons together for the first time on one stage in a once-in-a-lifetime concert. Internationally acclaimed artists Lea Salonga, Cecil Licat, and Lisa Makuha in The Legends and the Classics. Be part of an enchanted evening of song, music, and dance at 8 p.m. on March 17 and at 6 p.m. on March 18 at the CCP's Tanghalang Nicanor Abelardo, also featuring Philharmonica, Ballet Manila, and world-class cellist Wilfredo Pasamba. Musical direction by Gerard Salonga with stage direction by Roxanne Lapus. Lea Salonga, Cecil Licad, and Lisa Makuha, The Legends and the Classics, presented by Ballet Manila and Manila. Broadcasting Company with the support of Lifestyle Network, Sofitel Philippine Plaza, and Ayala Land Premier. Special thanks to McDonald's Philippines. Tickets are available at Ticket World Outlets. For details, check out ticketworld.com.ph or call 891-9999. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin po natin ang magagaling na theater actresses na sina Chris Villonco at Kalila Aguilos. Chris, okay, nasabi mo kanina na ang, gina, ang ginagampanan mong role ay si Emma Carew na Sweet Innocent Martyr. Yes. You know. um, actually, parang bagay na bagay sa yung role. Yan, yung laging sinasabi sa akin yan eh. Hindi <laughs> na lang siya kilala. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Kalila, ikaw naman, yes. Lucy the Prostitute. Yes. Paano lang din bagay na bagay sa iyo? Ah, yes! yes! I don't know. Akala <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Naisip ba ninyo at some point na you would like to play someone that's very different from your own personalities? I've always wanted to play a prostitute. And I've always wanted to play an ingenue. Because <laughs> if it's not the ingenue, it's sacrificial virgin. I mean, you know, it's, it's just things like that. Talaga, dun, dun ako napupunta. Pero I have played somewhat of a different character. A very annoying blonde bombshell <laughs> last year. Uh -huh. And talagang, oh, nagustuhan ko yun. Gustong-gusto uh -huh. ko pag nakakainis sila. Uh -huh. Gustong-gusto ko yung gusto mo silang sakalin na character. Bakit mo gusto to, you know, to play? Um, obviously, I think it would be easier to play someone na mas malapit sa iyong personality. And, I think you it's, know, sa appearance, sa looks and everything. I think I, it's a challenge na rin. Mm -hmm. Like, like if ever I were, to, I've always said, if ever I were to do a teleserye, gusto ko kontrabida ako. Ayoko mm. yung umiiyak ako. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gusto ko, I want to be the mean one. Kasi, yun nga, it goes against your type. So, mm -hmm. whether it be the face, the color of your skin, or just Mm -hmm. uh, yung yung mannerisms mo it, mm -hmm. it it's a more of a challenge and it's it shows your range kapag mm -hmm. nagpapakita ka ng something na hindi ikaw mm -hmm. or what they think na ikaw mm -hmm. and for theater <laughs> actress for theater artists kasi mm -hmm. theater is also let's say positively an escape or a therapeutic thing because mm -hmm. you get to explore parts of your personality that you're not used to mm -hmm. but you are forced to because mm -hmm. you're playing a character mm -hmm. and it broadens your scope of experience mm -hmm. kahit na hindi mo na experience sa tuloy na buhay on stage mm -hmm. nagagan mm -hmm. na na experience mo siya mm -hmm. but are there limits to what you're going to do on stage so far, none. So far, none. <laughs> we kissed a lot of men on stage. We kissed, I kissed two <laughs> men. Three men. Uh, oh, men there was one day I kissed four in a day. That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm, I'm not going to ask how that feels like. <laughs> it's not romantic at all. I don't know people think, oh, hindi mo nasiselos mo, boyfriend or whatever. It becomes so technical. Because it, 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 you, it, you have it. Kind Kailangan mukhang... Kailangan may angle, di ba? Totoo, kailangan mukhang whatever it's supposed to look, sweet or carnal or whatever it is. Okay, mapunta naman tayo sa Theater Actors Guild of the Philippines or TAG. Kalila, you were inducted as president of the new group. Yes. TAG. Okay. And Chris, of course, is a member. It's similar ata to Artists' Welfare Project. Well, of which I am a member. Yes, um, <laughs> artist welfare project must broad yung scope. It's uh -huh. artists. Theater Actors Guild concentrates on theater actors' needs. Okay. And artist welfare, it's really it works like a co-op, no? Like uh, you just support 
uh, artists who are need when mm -hmm. they need to be you know like monetary support or something like that. Theater Actors Guild is more. Uh, it will focus more on artists, or, uh, theater actors' rights. Mm. You know, so other than the fact that we get uh, benefits mm -hmm. for theater actors like perks, discounts, and we're trying to get healthcare also now, mm -hmm. uh, we will also be coming to the picture when it comes to the rights of the theater actor in the theater. Mm -hmm. Ganun ba? Mm -hmm. Parang the limits, like what is abusive and what is not. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And also protection for theater actors who go to different media. Become a repository of information. Kunyari, you do it through film and you want to know how does it work, how much do they charge. They can always go to the Theater Actors Guild for advice. I see. So that's what it is. Um, so is, is it similar also to parang the, the way the unions work in, um, yes. in the um, States? Although we're not calling it a union yet because mm -hmm. it took them a hundred years to get where they are. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just, we, we just needed to establish it already because there was no representation for theater actors here at all. They, mm -hmm. There were attempts in the 70s and the 80s, but it just never worked out. And mm -hmm. I think I'm riding on a tide of uh, change, like a mental, medyo progressive ngayon yung mentality ng mga kabataan. Eh. Mm -hmm. And I could feel that and I rode it. Parang, let's do it now because people, I can feel that people want to change the system. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, speaking as a member of Artists Welfare Project, uh, parang ang mission, actually, ang goal is to um, provide welfare benefits yes. to mm -hmm. um, members. Mm -hmm. um, this includes, of course, uh, hospitalization, yes. medical, uh, copyright, legal mm -hmm. advice, um, and even death benefits and you know, all of that. Uh, yun din ba ang magiging goal? Yes. Tab? Actually, we gave ourselves five years to at least get some health care, mm -hmm. uh, to provide health care for the members. Pension, and, I would say. Yeah. No? And we also have a training and development committee that is working on a program, a yearly program, to get um, courses that are accessible to theater actors who don't have money, mm -hmm. who can't afford the, the training. Mm -hmm. Because we also want to help people hone their talents. Marami dyan, ano eh, diamonds in the rough. Mm -hmm. And they, they're just so poor mm -hmm. that they can't afford to take a workshop for voice, can't afford to take a workshop for dance. We want to make it at least accessible, like kahit na isang linggo, that's a big difference. Just to mm -hmm. open their minds mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. some improvement. Mm -hmm. So, you speak of improvement. Um, ano ba talaga ang mga, uh, well, the main problems of the theater industry today? Um, for example, one, one of the things we are always discussing is standardization of rates. Um, there are sweldo. No, there, yes. <laughs> maliit eh. Maliit, maliit yung sweldo. And we uh -huh. can't, well, we can't really ask for more, mm -hmm. but at least to standardize it. Kasi meron, for example, there are theater groups who are established and they have a... Uh, Okay, these are the standard rates. Medyo nagvavary lang yan. Mm -hmm. And then there are the fly-by nights. There are fly-by nights pay you well, mm -hmm. actually. But there are some who kind of are abusive in a sense. And mm -hmm. this is the, these are the things we want to control. Mm -hmm. Like, who is there a law? It's not written anywhere that uh, when you go out of town, dapat 50% ang taas. Right? That it should double. It's not written anywhere. It's just a, by word of mouth. So since it's not written anywhere, mm -hmm. inaabuso yun minsan. Mm -hmm. And theater actors as individuals will not speak out. Kasi sila rin mawawalan ng trabaho. Mm -hmm. 350 na nga lang babayad sa'yo kada show. Mm -hmm. Mawawalan ka pa ng trabaho kasi mahirap ka. 350 pesos? Yes. yes. Minsan ganon. No Opo. kidding. Yes. <gasps> we had stars. We had stars do productions with us. Mm -hmm. They were happy, happy sila, no? Nakikitrabaho sila, ang gagaling magtrabaho ng mga tao. Pero, pagdating ng sweldo, nagulat sila. Kasi, sobrang wala sa kalingkingan ng isang taping day nila. Mm -hmm. So, pinapamigay na lang nila yung sweldo nila sa po artists uh -huh. so, parang, how can you do this uh -huh. for so little? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, you know, the least we can do as an organization is to make things a little bit better uh -huh. for everybody. Okay, very quickly, yeah. since I'm sure ang daming mga um, future members na interested to get in touch with TAG, how, how do they get in touch with you? Um, sa TAG? We do have an email address. Mm -hmm. Right now, kasi we're just starting, so we don't have an office yet. Mm -hmm. We have an email address that's um, tag 
underscore Philippines at yahoo.com mm -hmm. and we also have a Facebook page the discussion board you can it's an open group it's Theater Actors Guild mm -hmm. they'll find that and so you know they can post questions there and we'll answer mm -hmm. people okay. are available and they're very outspoken mm -hmm. so. oh yes mm -hmm. how many members do you have right now we already have close to well 200 members wow fantastic Yes. Okay, mabalik tayo sa Jekyll and Hyde. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, sino ang mga kasama ninyo sa musical na ito? And who's the director? Siyempre, of course, our leads are Jet Pangan and Michael Williams. Mm -hmm. Tapos ang director namin, si Ms. Menchu, Menchu, Menchu Lauchenko Lauchen Yulo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And invite our viewers and listeners to Jekyll and Hyde. Mm -hmm. It's going on right now. Apo. Um, Nag-open na po kami. Manood po kayo every weekend po sa Fridays 8pm, pagka Saturdays 3pm at saka 8pm, and Sundays 3pm. Yes po. And for tickets, tumawag po kayo sa Ticket World. Pwede din po kayong bumisita sa website nila na ticketworld.com.ph and their telephone number is 891-9999. Sandali lang, hindi nyo nasabi yung venue. Ay! <laughs> <laughs> sa langit po. <laughs> <laughs> sa Green Belt One on stage po, nasa second floor po ito. Sa Makati po. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talagang hindi kayo sanay mag-plug, ano? <laughs> Ako hindi ito okay. <laughs> At syempre, bago magtapos ang ating programa, pwede ba kaming makahiling ng isang awit? Aba. From Jekyll and Hyde, I'm sure this is going to be a big, big treat to all our televiewers and our listeners. Abangan po ninyo, Jekyll and Hyde, what's the song? In His Eyes. In His Eyes, yeah. I sit and watch the rain and see my tears run down.
nagigigit na ako dito. Okay? Um, maraming maraming salamat sa pagbisita ninyo sa amin dito sa Art to Art. Kalila, Chris, maraming thank maraming you. Salamat. And good luck in your in the rest of the run of thank Jekyll you. and Hyde. Okay, sa, la, sa lahat ng mga hindi pa nakakapanood ng Jekyll and Hyde, huwag niyo pong palalampasin uh, sa Green Belt. One, One on, stage. on stage. Okay, for tickets, 891-9999. Supportahan po natin ang mga magagaling na Filipino artists and theater groups na laging nagbibigay ng karangalan sa ating bansa. Mga kaibigan, samahan ninyo kami ulit sa susunod na linggo, alas 3.30 ng hapon, dito lamang sa DZRH. Ito po, si Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino at sa lahat ng Pilipinong nagmamahal sa bayan.